everybody out there. Mater here. Hopefully everybody's doing good today. I know I am. I had to go back to work finally after having six days off for Thanksgiving. I took a couple extra days off for uh, holiday. I was supposed to go out of town, uh, go out riding with my the ministry and everything, but well, something told me to stay home instead, and I'm glad I did because the guy came over uh, from Lowe's, and hey, two to three weeks, I'm fixing to get a new roof on the house, which is something that's been needing to get done. Um, he came over Saturday, and then Monday, the guy from the actual installer came over, took a look at the house, and said, okay, here's some other things that need to be done, I need to get some trees cut, so I've been working on all that. <coughs> no, I ain't got the damn credits because of this. After doing this for almost... Well, 35 years now, I'm starting to get the damn smoker's cough, so, no. Anyways, the reason I'm doing the video is I got some stuff in the mail between yesterday and today. And I thought I'd give y'all a look at it. Here's one thing. Yeah, drag specialties. Y'all ready for this? Oh, nice. Nice little toys. Aha. It got me some chrome. These are some chrome rear shocks for the trike. And yes, I will be doing a video on getting them put while I'm putting them on. Yeah. I got some better rear shocks I'm going to be putting on the trike. Um, I can't wait because right now what I've got on there is those um, stock air shocks. I mean, those are good, but, man, going down the road, hitting a bump and everything, oh, man, they are, that trike is not all that comfortable. I mean, it's good for the open road, but, man, hit a bump and everything. I can hit a bump so damn hard. Yeah, in comes the little grease and... The wrenches to adjust them because that's one thing that they are adjustable but oh man I've hit a bump so hard on that trike uh, going down the highway that it literally um, knocked the cruise control off and because you know, I'm going down the highway I, I got the cruise control set you know for like about 70 75 depending upon what the speed limit is I usually don't go over 75 um, but, uh, yeah, I've hit it bump so damn hard that it's literally just all of a sudden cruise control gets turned off. I got to re you know, hit my hand back on the throttle because I'm going down the highway on the trike one-handed. I'm just, I'm just kicked back, got that cruise control, got my feet out. I'm just kicked back, relaxing. Now, it was all of a sudden, boom, I got to put my hand back on the throttle, get back at speed, reset the uh, cruise and everything. Oh, I'm hoping this will take care of that. It's actually, this is one thing. The other thing is what I got here in my other bag. They actually came in today. So I have not looked at it. Yep. Got this bag here. Let's open it up. That way everybody sees what I get. Because I haven't seen this. I mean, this thing is still sealed up. I love this little knife. One of the guys at work actually gave that to me. He works at, um, as I say, Target, or Target, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Yep, there's my paperwork showing to be shipped. Man, they really, they got inside two bags. I already know what these are. <coughs> what these are is lift kits for the trike. Oh yeah. There they are. That's the new lift kits. And what it's supposed to do is the normal mounting position is like right down here for the bottom of the shock, 
they raise it up. And what that's doing is that's literally lifting the whole back of the trike and everything up. So, yeah, I'm going to put these on. And what that's going to do is that's going to literally, yep, there's the, one of these. I don't remember which, I know there's a difference in them, but one goes on, yeah, they go like that. They're going to be going on the bike like that. Because where these nuts and everything are, they got to be on the outside of the, I think it's the outside of the bike. Outside of the shock, I should say. Or it might be the inside. I'll have to double check. But what it's going to do is it's going to literally lift the back of the, the trike up and make it a lot more comfortable. With these shocks here, um... That's going to be better than the air shocks I've got on the bike right now. Because um, I wound up going to Fredericksburg on it. And, oh man. I mean, it was good going down there. Like I said, a little bit on the rough side. Uh, but man, every time coming out of the hotel and everything, leaving their parking lot, there was a little bit of a dip and everything going from there out to the street. Man, every time. Boom, I had to go very slow because, man, I'm dragging it back in my pipes and everything. And it's like, damn, no matter how slow I went, I'm dragging my damn pipes. I don't want to get my pipes all messed up. Hey, it's a Harley. What do you expect? But anyways, um, hopefully got good weather this weekend here in North Texas. Um, I will see about uh, getting the, the bike and everything jacked up and... Taking y'all with me, so y'all see me putting these shocks and everything on and installing these. Um, I'm also going to be uh, putting on new uh, rear brakes. So, y'all be doing, you know, y'all be going along with me on that. So, hopefully everybody's having a good time. Remember, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment. And please, don't spam. I hate that. So far, like I said, I've already had to report some people on that. Um, and hopefully they're getting taken care of. Um, I say comment, good or bad. You know, if you like it, that's fine. If you don't, hey, I'm still going to take it. I don't care. Okay, hey, my, give me some ideas on something else. But um, and don't forget to hit the bell. That way, y'all know when I get another video uploaded. Um, and I'm hoping that sometime soon I get uh, another live stream going. Um, don't know when. So. And as far as on this Coleman stove over here, I figured out what the problem is. I got to get a new generator for it. The generator on it is just trash. Um, I'll probably see about getting that ordered this weekend. Um, and it's probably going to take about three or four days for that to come in. And so maybe I might be able to do it, not, you know, the following weekend. But that's going to be very busy because... Um, got the, um, Christmas party for, um, the ministry. We're going to be having a Christmas party that Saturday night. Sunday morning, that's going to be a cold one. We got the Ellis County Toy Run. And usually we get about eight, eight to nine hundred bikers showing up for that. We're all going to meet up over at, uh, downtown, uh, Midlothian. Um, we'll have a police. And Sheriff Escort, um, I love it, done a couple of them already, and I mean, we go from Middle Ocean through Waxahachie, um, out past the Texas Motorplex, down 287, uh, come into Ennis, and all the way out past Ennis, out past 45, all the way to Sokol Hall, it's um, $5 a person to get in, plus bring an unwrapped toy. And I tell you, that's one thing I love about the biker community, man. You'll have guys bring all kinds of things, donations. I mean, like I said, we get a thousand people at five dollars a person. You do the math on it. That's how much money they can raise for families. I mean, that's one thing that you know. You go to a biker event. Uh, you get a biker down that's got problems. They'll pass the hat around. Man, I've seen them, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Everybody just reaching their pocket here, fill the hat up, and they'll give that money straight to them. I mean, they're going to help 
a fellow biker out. That's one thing I love about it. So anyways, till next time, talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day.